Hey, what's up, folks? Jay Barino here, continuing my Legacy of the Void brutal walkthrough. We're heading into Unsealing the Past on Cybros. I have to say, I find the missions on Cybros to be pretty challenging. Oh, Let's go over what I'm going to be using. They may be easier if you'd go to Slain first. We might be at the part of the game where, depending on where you go, you may actually, uh... You may actually have more trouble whichever, with whichever one you go to first, and the second one will be subsequently easier. Okay, I'm going to go with Dark Archons just in case, like, if I ever actually do build them. Confusion is very, very good. Mind control is not a bad thing to have either. High Templar, on the other hand, they've got this Plasma Surge, which heals your unit's shields, which is real, real cool. And then, of course, you can make uh, Archons as well. You know what? I'll be honest. I really don't plan on making either of these units, so we can just leave it on High Templar. Let's go and check out our Solarite. Solarite is going to be very important for this mission. It's another go-fast mission with Colossus. Alrighty. Um, it's really tempting to go for Phoenix in this mission because he can just smash through enemy bases, which can be quite troublesome in this specific mission. What I'm actually going to do is bump up to Warp Harmonization. This is the one mission where I think it's worthwhile for Warp Harmonization. Warp Harmonization is kind of superfluous in my opinion, but then again, so is Orbital Assimilator, and I just like Orbital Assimilator because I'm really, really lazy. It's like, I don't know, especially on the Go Fast missions, saves you six probes from having to saturate gas. But in this specific mission, it's probably better to be able to warp in Colossi. You know what? No. I'm going to go with Orbital Assimilator. I really don't think we need it. I really don't think we need it. Meanwhile, let's bump up pretty much everything. I'm going to bump up starting supply, rather. And this should do us well, I think. Between uh, Solar Lance and Shield Overcharge, you're going to notice that's going to be my kind of go-to. Whereas you walk into an enemy base, you can use both and just smash through them. Alright, Phoenix, on the other hand, might be really helpful for the end of this mission. But this is just kind of my preferred strategy. I've kind of gotten used oh, to using hey. it, so I'm just going to stick with it. Let's go ahead and get going. And again, I find this mission to be so-so in terms of challenge. It's it's a little hard. I mean, I don't know. I think it's it's one where once you practice it once or twice, you'll be in good shape. Dark Templar, once again, fairly, fairly essential. When you get to the 75% the mark uh, in terms of progression in the level, there's going to be some caves. You can sneak in with Dark Templar and destroy them. Alrighty, we can go ahead and skip this. And let's get going. Colossus, lead the way, buddies. Nope, nope, not that close. So these aren't the really good Colossi that we're going to get after this mission is over. The really good Colossi leave, like, fire on the ground, and it does a tons of extra damage. Observer coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. Okay, and even at this beginning part, your Colossus can be sort of vulnerable to these Hydralists, so you do have to be a little careful. Because Colossi are actually fairly fragile. And you can destroy these if you are so inclined. I don't like the way they're, they're looking at me, so I'm going to destroy them. And we just hang out. And you can see they can still hit me. They must have grooved spines. You'll notice this uh, this Nidus worm will pop out, but it doesn't spew any more Hydralisks except, like, those two. So you can just slowly kind of auto-attack your way through these remaining Hydralisks. Kill the Nidus worm, and then no problem. We'll set up our base, and now I'm... No, I did get, I did get, uh, Orbital Refinery. Alright, or Orbital Assimilators. That's good, honestly. I just don't think that Warp Harmonization is that necessary. Why don't you just wait? Wait for me to get a big army before you activate it, you clown. Authorization in progress. The Megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. See, they're just so hasty to get this started that they made it. They made this more difficult for me. So I, I keep saying that Orbital Assimilator... The systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. I keep saying that I get it because I'm really lazy, and it, that's true, but you really have to think on missions like this, it saves you a lot of time and money because uh, six probes is 300 minerals, and then the time building it, and those probes you also won't have on minerals as well. Very, very important on missions like this, in my opinion. So you really do want to get this stuff going as fast as possible. Even just one of those Energizer sentries is going to be invaluable. I'd love to get a Colossus out right away. But we're not in too much of a rush. The Megalith will stop the and Megalith attack things on its way. Up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. So I actually have a theory on this mission that I haven't fully realized yet, but 
I think the idea is the Megalith will stop and attack things. It doesn't just slowly go. It will stop and it kind of auto-attacks its way through the mission. So, you actually don't want to destroy everything and give it a free ride. You just want to have enough stuff to make sure it doesn't get smoked on its way. Because the longer it takes to go to the next section, the longer the you're going to have to build more units. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. So like here, it's going to come down here and we just want to let it attack. Let's build a forge. And it, it gets its shields back in between each thing, too. So, like, this is kind of silly of me, I understand, but we're, we're allowing it to... We're, ge we're getting precious seconds here with how long this mission takes. Precious seconds. There we go. So we can hang out here. We can get some extra money from this. Come on back down. Keep getting probes. We can get another robo-facility. And we definitely need more warp gates. The Megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. And we can turn these into pylons, which is, again, very important. We need a lot of dragoons because there is a lot of uh, anti-air that we need to deal with, and we need some pylons. So, honestly, defending against the Zerg on this map is probably the most annoying part. Because you have to leave some stuff at home. Granted, that's kind of what Solar Lance is for, so we should be okay in that sense. Get another probe. Let's go ahead and get ground weapons and change our chrono. I'm detecting Zerg movement. Warriors. Ensure none reach our nexus point. This should be fine, because they're just going to come right at us over here. So I'm not really that scared. We have a lot of gas, so I'd love to get more sentries. Well, one sentry. It's good enough for me. Okay, let's push in and destroy this the stuff. The is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. And again, I'm just going to back up and just sort of let it let it do its thing. We're going to hotkey these, queue up more colossi. We're going to need a lot of those. Okay, we'll get even another gateway, and we can use Shield Overcharge or Solar Lance as we push into the next area. But again, there's no reason to be hasty. You don't have to be, so I'm not going to be. Did I lose my other Dragoon? Oh no, he's there. Okay, that would have been sad. Okay. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The Megalith is relocating to the next one. Indeed. So again, another instance where we're just going to sort of let it float its way to its target. When the Zerg clump up, we'll Solar Lance them. Let's get going. And again, it gets its shields back when it reaches its destination. So you do not have to worry about it really dying really, really fast or anything like that. Oh, oh no, Energizers. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, this is going to be a really good area to Solar Lance, I think. So like here, and here, and probably here. There we go. And that should allow the Megalith to get where it needs to go, which is right through here. You back up, buddy. Survive. Survive. There we go. And we need more Stalkers. And we need to open up these. And we probably need a few cannons, at least, to delay. In fact, I'd rather just get more Colossus right now. So this is your opportunity to go around and, like, pick up minerals that you find in random locations. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Okay. Let's get plus two weapons. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the Solarite components within. So you, need to, you do need to take these pretty quick, otherwise you're not going to have an opportunity to later. I think um, attack on your ground units is really important, so that's why I'm getting these. Lots and lots of Zerglings, you can back up or get stuck, that's fine. Okay. The Megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. We need some more pylons. The Zerg haven't attacked me yet for a while, which I'm surprised. Alright, the Megalith's gonna be done here soon, but we can swing up here and kill some Zerg from up here. Um, very tempting to just use, uh, let's just use Shield Overcharge here and help. Okay, let's get some more, uh, uh, Dragoons. And the grid is now at 60%. The Megalith is en route to the third lock now. Okay, let's get everyone down in this area. Keep warping in um, more and more Colossus. Oh, that's bad. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. 
So this is where you're gonna want to use Solar Lance a couple times. We can just get rid of these crawlers up on the ridge really, really fast. So this is where things can start to get pretty dicey. We've got our little pylon back here. We can get some more sentries. And I really think Energizers with Colossi is just crazy good. Just so good. We have a low Colossus, but we should be okay. We're, you know, we're holding out with the Megalith. Okay, keep going. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, lost that Colossus. That was careless because I A-clicked on a building instead of uh, something else. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to keep rallying up here. More and more uh, Dragoons that we're going to need. And then we almost have Solar Lance, which we want to use pretty much right here. So attack in, draw the Zerg in, and then just blast the crap out of them. There we go. And that's going to get us through this area of defense, right where the Megalith needs to be. Except for this one Ultralisk, which is fine. And, well, okay, two Ultralisks, which is fine. Okay, and then let's go ahead and open up one of these sentries and get some more units as soon as possible. Dragoon, Dragoon, Dragoon. We have more Colossus coming in. Done, warriors. The Megalith is disabling the third lock. Okay, so like, I mean, it's, it's a little scary, this mission, because you have to move so quickly. We haven't gotten attacked. I think it's because we've stopped the Zerg from running in on our base, which is fine with me. Let's keep getting Colossus. Let's get... Ground armor. In fact, let's change our chrono to one of our production facilities here. And we have to take these colossi and go and push into... Push into this area as well. Actually, a lot of stuff comes out here. We can back up and have our dragoons support us. I think an ultralisk is up here too. But this is your only opportunity to get this. So you, got, you do have to go... This lock is almost destabilized. The ultralisk. will relocate shortly. All right, let's just... I think we can kill this. We're going to take some damage, but we're okay. All right, cool. So let's just make sure we get the optional objective. Keep getting... Both power cores have been obtained. Zealots. I'll begin working on them immediately. I'll tell you what I didn't do was get Dark Templar, which I mentioned are pretty important. But I guess not. <laughs> okay, so what we can do here... Let's come up to the edge with Colossus. And the Megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. Okay, so we can leave our Colossus up here. I'm a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. Okay, I'm gonna use a Guardian Shield right now. And we may have to use Solar Lance to defend ourselves. Indeed we will, unfortunately. But we can do this, and then let's come on over here and use something up here if we can. Oh, we can just barely see up here. Unfortunately, I didn't make my Dark Templar. So what, we, what we're going to need are more pylons, because I need to warp in those Dark Templar as soon as possible, because I need to close the caves. I right, close this cave. And we should have Solar Lance back up when we absolutely need it later. The Megalith is fine. Okay, keep attacking. Let's keep warping in uh, Dark Templar. Dark Templar, well, we only have one. But the idea is we can run them up here and close these caves. But I think I have more than enough stuff, but that fungal growth is kind of killer. Okay, Dark Templar. A significant number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. So you'll notice my Dark Templar can just sort of run in, and they'll be fine. Um, Dragoons, I need you to move up and kill these Guardians when possible. Actually, just hang out in the back. There we go. Dark Templar took out the K or the, the things over here. Dragoons, move up and kill the Guardians. Kill this Guardian. Kill this Guardian. And then you can use, again, Dark Templar to kill those caves. That's probably the... If there's one major tip that I would suggest for this mission, it's, it's use your... Uh, your Dark Templar to destroy those caves. Okay, that's fine. We'll get some Zealots Dark Templar here to defend ourselves. And let's just start queuing up lots and lots of Colossus. Okay, so now we just have to complete the mission, which is harder than it seems, but I think Gar uh, Shield Overcharge and Solar Lance will be up in time. We're going to leave these uh, Dark Templar at home. The Megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. 
Okay, so again, I find this mission to be kind of challenging. You, you'll notice that I'm uh, kind of right on the edge. Well, that's also because I didn't make my Dark Templar in time. I should have done that earlier. Let's make sure we're warping in units. I should have made another gateway. I have so many minerals, so I guess let's just make a lot of uh, zealots. We can make more pylons as well. Here, 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 and here, and here. Just lots and lots of pylons because we can afford them. And I don't want to use deploy pylon. I just want to make sure that I have enough... I just want to make sure that I have enough, uh... What am I thinking? Spit it out. <laughs> I just want to make sure um, that I have enough energy on the Spear of a Dune. What I am going to do is walk up here and start poking in. Lock destabilization is nearly finished. The Megalith will disembark soon. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the Megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Okay. Dark Templar back out. And we're going to wipe out as much of this as we can now. As much of this as we can now so that Solar Lance is back up when we need it later. So definitely need more Dragoons. We have uh, even more Colossus coming. We could get some of these Vanguards. I mean, why not? But, I mean, I'll tell you why not. It's just because I didn't need them earlier and I needed to focus on Colossus. The lock is down and the Megalith is traveling. Okay. Stasis grid at 20%. So Solar Lance will be up later, very, very soon. In the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. Indeed they are, but we should be fine. Let's just go ahead and keep getting Dragoons, just in case we need more AA. We got the Megalith backing us up, and then we should have more than enough... We should have more than enough Colossi at this point. Maybe get some more Dark Templar, actually. I really don't like that, uh... That fungal growth, but oh well. And there's going to be... I believe there's going to be um, Nidus Worms that we have to deal with. All right, Solar Lance is back up. All right, so kill this. One shot, those kill those in one shot. They do shoot slower, keep in mind, but other than that, they're great. Sure, make some more Zealots. We can use uh, we can use Solar Lance to kill those Nidus Worms, actually. All right, you guys move on in. And I can't really see where things are, so it's hard to justify using Solar Lance. Well, one is here. Let's get at least get rid of those, and we can't see what's back here, so I guess we're just going to Solar Lance in the back. Okay, and that did kill the Nidus Worm. Maybe that killed the one up there, too. The Megalith, though, is just about where it needs to be. Let's keep moving up. Alright, we did not kill... We need to kill the Nidus Worm up here. I mean, this is the direction we have to go anyway. Dragoons... Move on over. This seems like a frantic mess, but I have enough stuff that we should be fine. Oh my god, that fungal growth is killer. It's killer, I say. Very, very short on gas, so that's why um, I'm going to spend it to get sentries now, because I feel like they're the most useful. Let's just use Guardian Shield now. Probably the, the best use. And then let's just see if we can push through here. We're right on top of the Nidus Worm, so some of you focus on the Nidus Worm. Dark Templar still pretty much tearing it up. We have Solar Lance again, but we don't really need to use it. Let's go ahead and, and just use it here, and here, and here. Just make sure we kill that thing. There we go. And that's this mission. The Megalith didn't take any health, health damage, which I believe is a, an achievement. I don't know what the other one is. It might be to kill every single Zerg building. And I know that there's um, a lair down here, so we didn't do that, unfortunately. But Either way, um, this mission is a frantic mess until you get through that canyon area. Like, this is probably the hardest part where the, the crawlers are rooting. And the grid is down. We've done it. Cybros is free from stasis. Recall our forces from Endion's surface. We take this battle to Cybros. So as usual, Colossus just the best unit. It's just incredible. Um, I would suggest getting one or two extra Colossus. Again, the hardest part is probably that area where you have to get through, like, the crawlers. There's a lot of Zerg there, and then there's a very large Zerg encampment right near the end of the canyon as well. So you have to ration out where you use your Spear of a Dune abilities. I want to point out, it's sometimes best to poke in with your units after the first round. The first two paths of the Megalith, you want to delay. You want the Megalith to stop and attack things because it's best that it takes longer, that gives you more time to get set up. But beyond that, it may be good to poke forward with your units, draw the Zerg out, kill what you can, use your Spear of Adune abilities early so that they're going to be back off cooldown before the Megalith is actually moving. You saw me do that near the end there with the uh, with the Zerg 
layers and, and hives near at the very end. Anyway, that that's my recommendation. I had a little trouble with this mission, but I did complete it. Again, Dark Templar can close those last two caves off because there's no detection in that base. So if there's a main takeaway, it's that. That will help you a ton if you're prepared for that. All right, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye now.